What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to talk about how to create print on demand merchandise so that you can sell products to your audience or to people that like your business or people that like your YouTube channel or your brand. It's a great way to monetize any kind of a following that you have. And the best part of it is you don't have to have minimum orders. You don't have to spend tons of money buying inventory. And so it's, it's very, very cool. We're gonna get into this video right now. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears. I make daily marketing videos here. So if you're looking to grow your business or your brand with digital marketing, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button and also comment below with your thoughts. All right, so merchandise is a great way to build brand loyalty, to get the name of your business or your brand out there. And it's a great way to monetize a following. A couple years ago, I built a Facebook page called I Have a Caffeine Problem. It was a community built around, or it still is, I still have the page. I just haven't been doing stuff with it because organic reach has really died on Facebook. But let's talk about this as an option for making money online. If you have any kind of a following, if you have a YouTube channel or a Facebook group or just any kind of attention, if you want people to feel like they're part of a community, typically if you create merchandise, it's a great way to sell products and make money. So one thing that is helpful is called print on demand services. What that means is that when an order comes in, instead of having to, like previously, if you wanted to do this, you'd have to go out, you'd buy shirts, you'd print them, take them home, and then they'd sit in a box until you'd sell them, you'd package them up and send them out. Now you can still do that. Now typically when you do that, you're gonna get better margins than when you're doing print on demand. But print on demand, and we'll talk about that in a second, but print on demand is a service where you have a company who basically has a warehouse full of products. They have printing things and fulfillment, and they will take an order as soon as it comes in and they'll print it up, package it for you, and send it out so that it looks like it's coming from you, but it's not coming from you. The service that we're gonna be talking about today is called Printful. And Printful is great because they have tons of great products, their customer service is good, their prices are good, and um, they do good work. This is an example of a Printful item that I made for one of the companies that I do marketing for. It's called Philips Performance. They make fender flares for Dodge Hellcats. Um, and you can do hats and shirts and pants. Some companies do shoes and backpacks. Printful has posters and all kinds of things. By the way, this is not a sponsored post for Printful. There's two major players kind of in the print on demand space. One is Printful and one is Teespring. You'll see a lot of YouTubers use Teespring because they have native integration into YouTube. So I'll definitely be doing a comparison between the two. Now I just chose Printful today because that's what I've used mostly in the past. But when I have some time, I will definitely do an in-depth comparison of both. But what you do is you go into Printful, you create a store, you upload a design, you choose the products, and then you integrate it either on a Printful store natively, or you can integrate it into WooCommerce and Shopify and all of these different things. Let's jump into the computer here. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to get this set up. But basically, if you are growing your business or you have a following, it's a great way to offer them products that they're gonna be interested in buying that they usually like to have. And um, it's gonna be helpful because you don't have to buy tons of inventory, hold inventory, manage the fulfillment, and do all of the difficult steps that come along with creating and selling products online. So if you're growing a YouTube channel, that's why this is very, very popular with YouTubers um, because it's a great way to engage with your audience and your community. And I think that just with the technology that's available now, print on demand is amazing. Now, uh, before we jump into the computer, I'm gonna show you how to do this. I think there's a few drawbacks really quick to print on demand. Number one, the margins aren't great. So you have to you know, have your, your products and services stored in a location and they are going to print them. So there's, there's value to that. And in a way, it, they're charging a bit of a premium because Again, you don't have to pre-order things. And so unless you start charging a lot for a shirt, right? So maybe you're charging 25 bucks for a shirt. For most people, that's like a really expensive t-shirt. And it's not like it's out of this world quality. It's not like a Gucci t-shirt or something like that, right? It's just a normal Gildan t-shirt. And so if you're charging 25 bucks, people sometimes say like, hey, that's really expensive. Um, and to make a solid margin that you're gonna like build a business on, you typically need to have higher prices on your stuff. 
Now, like I've, I've made shirts for my company and I just like to wear them because they're from my company, right? So mavericdigitalmarketing.com forward slash shop. You can check out the shirts there. Um, I wanted to make shirts that I thought were cool. And since I'm working in my own business every day, it's a good promotion and you know, it's, it's cool to have your own shirt. So the, um, the, the basically the, the thing behind that though is that if you're gonna charge a re reasonable price for a t-shirt, um, you're just not gonna make that much per shirt. So that's one of the drawbacks. If you were to go out and buy you know, a bunch of shirts, print them at volume, you're gonna get better margins and pricing. So sometimes a good strategy is that once you start to have more sales and more following, if you go and you buy some and then have it sold once you know you have a certain volume. Um, I created my Facebook page called I Have a Caffeine Problem, which was a community of caffeine lovers, and I would print uh, mugs on demand. And mugs are one of the items that I think sell really well too, but with that, you have poor margins. People typically won't be willing to spend more than 15 bucks on a mug. Um, and so you would make two to $3 per mug, which is not a tremendous amount when you're selling a $15 product. Now, if you went on AliExpress or Alibaba.com and you found mugs that you could drop ship, you're gonna make way more per sale. You're gonna make somewhere in the in the ballpark of eight to ten dollars instead so if you're just getting started i think that print on demand is a very low risk um, option which means that you're not going to have to worry about margins as much now if you're doing paid ads and things trying to get your shirts out there the margins really come into play you're not going to be able to make enough in my opinion um, to make paid ads and campaigns worth it with a print on demand solution so I think it's great if you have an audience or you're trying to build an audience and you want to monetize that audience um, or create community around your product or your brand um, or add additional products into a product line. Um, I think that that's a great option. But just as a sole business um, model, it, it's a little bit difficult. So I just wanted to mention that here really quick. Let's jump into the computer. I'm gonna show you how it works. It's actually very, very simple. We'll walk step-by-step step how to use this, how to integrate it into WooCommerce or Shopify. And uh, I hope this is really, really helpful for you. All right, so once you head on over to printful.com, you sign up for an account. What you're going to do is then create a store and you can host multiple stores inside of one account. So for example, here I have a WooCommerce account. Here I have a Shopify account. In order to be on WooCommerce, you just have to install a WooCommerce plugin. Inside of um, Shopify, you just add a Shopify app for Printful. And I like that it automatically will order it for you. So the, the way that this works is people will go to your website, they'll buy the product, you'll collect the money on your website, and then you'll place the order on Printful. So you're charging more. Let's say you charge $20 for your shirt, right? You're going to get $20 collected on your website, and then you're going to take that money and order the shirt on Printful. So um, that's how that works. When you want to add a product, you just go click add. You're going to upload your product um, images and things, but here's all of the different types of products you have to choose from. You have home and living, accessories. Let's do a backpack. That would be cool. Um, as an example here, uh, we'll choose this one. See, it's a little bit expensive though. Our cost for this is $35, which is definitely expensive. I mean, for a backpack. So you're gonna have to, you know, set the prices accordingly. I'm gonna use this one. That's cool looking. Um, and then we're gonna hit proceed to mockups. So we're gonna add these different mockups. We're gonna add a description. Okay, and proceed to pricing. So retail price, $50.50. Here you can see this is the, the margin and the profit that you're gonna make. So if you sold a single backpack, your profit is $14.55. Um, so it will publish the product. It'll be visible on the online store once it's ready. So we're going to hit publish and now it's good to go. So it's very simple to create products quickly, to sell them quickly. And the way that you have to have it set up is again, you're going to have your, your website that will go and, and sell the products. You're going to collect the money and then you're going to fulfill it on Printful. And this is done again through either a WordPress plugin or a Shopify app. 
but it's not very difficult at all. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment. Let's head back into the office and wrap this up. Listen, so I hope that was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button. And if you have any questions or need help with anything, comment below, happy to help out. So um, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.